I just discovered this this afternoon. I wish I'd heard about it earlier. But it seems like the Washington Post uh, has, uh, is, um, has launched a smear campaign against uh, Alex Epstein. Now, I think you all know Alex Epstein is a, is a good friend of mine. He's been on the show several times. He's about to come on the show again um, uh, in a few weeks to talk about his new book. Uh, he is the author, of course, of uh, The Mall Case for Fossil Fuels, and he's got a new uh, book coming out uh, next month, which we will be promoting on my show. I, uh, he, is, uh, he is somebody that I hired, that I met when he was uh, still a, a college student at the age of uh, 21, I think, or, or, or 21 or 22. Uh, he, he, became a, he was my co-author on, on several essays that I wrote that are published. Um, I hired him uh, to the Ayn Rand Institute. I pursued him. I actively recruited him and then hired him into the Ayn Rand Institute. Uh, when he was very young, he, I, I can't remember if he spent, I think he spent six years or eight years, I can't remember, at the Ayn Rand Institute working uh, for me, writing, speaking, um, uh, and, 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 I th and, and getting, I think, getting trained. Uh, he then decided to focus on energy and, and leave the Ayn Rand Institute to do it uh, himself, I th which I thought was a courageous and, and ambitious move. Uh, he became an intellectual entrepreneur. He has done phenomenally well. He's written this amazing book, and he has really changed the debate within the energy industry about fossil fuels, about climate change, uh, uh, about, about the, uh, the political, intellectual, philosophical efforts to destroy our civilization by shutting down fossil fuels. Alex is courageous and uh, incredibly smart and articulate and thoughtful, um, he really has a way of, of uh, engaging in a way of thinking about problems that is fresh and original and new. And, you know, I, I, am, I am one of his fans, right? I'm one of his fans and fan of, of, of the work he does. The Washington Post picked up some kind of comment he made or something he wrote when he was 18, and they've interpreted it in a way that suggests that Alex is a racist. That is bizarre. That is ridiculous. That is insane. Alex is not a racist. I, again, I've known him since his early 20s, since his college days, uh, when I visited Duke and gave a lecture there. Um, he has worked for me. We have had, I don't know, hundreds of hours of discussion, debate, disagreement, uh, agreement, uh, worked together on essays, uh, you know, and never you would anybody never never could you think of Alex as, as being any anything close to a racist he's he's the exact opposite uh, you know and and this is this is disgusting action by the Washington Post it is uh, it is just a an attempt to character assassinate Alex because of his political and because of his philosophical positions it is um, it is an attempt to make him out to be um, something he is not in order to try to discredit the truth that he is writing about. It is an attempt. And this is where I think you guys can help. This is a clear attempt to destroy the launch of his book. This is a clear attempt to smear him so his book does not do well and does not become a bestseller. You can help. If you don't like what the Washington Post is doing, if you think canceling people because of their point of view, particularly a, a true point of view, is wrong and evil and, and, and character assassination in the name of a political ideology is wrong and evil, then the best thing you can do is buy the book. I don't get a percentage <laughs> of royalties. I'm not doing this because of percentage. I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do. Go to Amazon right now and pre-order Alex Epstein's latest book. Now, the title eludes me right now. Um, I apologize. It is midnight, after all, in, in, uh, in London. But just go and search Alex's book and, and, and search the latest, um, uh, you know, the latest book that, that is coming out now. And, um, and buy it. Pre-order it. Let's, let's, let's defeat the Washington Post by making Alex Epstein's book a, it's called Fossil Future. Fossil Future. Thank you, Scott. Called Fossil Future. 
Thank you, Pablo. Uh, and thank you, all the rest of you. Uh, you can pre-order it now. You can help make it a bestseller. You can stick it to the Washington Post. You can stick it to all of our enemies, all the people who want to silence me, want to silence Alex, want to silence anybody who has a rational perspective and wants to present new ideas, true ideas, ideas that challenge the status quo, ideas that challenge the establishment. You can stick it to them by going right now, right now, to Amazon and, and buying the book. You should buy the book anyway because... It's a great book, and you'll find it really, really interesting. I, you'll, uh, there's a blurb by me. I don't think it's on the black cover. Maybe it's on the inside. But I did write a blurb for the book, so the book is excellent. I've, I've read I've read it. Um, so go. You can pre-order it on Kindle. You can pre-order it on, on uh, you know. But get get you know get a hard copy. Alex will sign it. You, you know, you'll, you'll enjoy the fact that you, you have this physical piece of of, uh, of an important book that might change the world. Because suddenly if we don't listen, if the world does not listen to Alex when it comes to fossil fuels, then the world is going to be in a lot worse shape than it is today. Cancel culture, we can fight it. Uh, I said this yesterday at the event. The way to fight cancel culture and the way to find wokeness, the way to fight wokeness, is to ignore it in the sense of tell them, screw you, I'm going to continue to talk. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you want to cancel me. I don't care if you want to silence me. I don't care about your wokeness. I don't give a damn about your ideas. You're wrong. Your methods are wrong and your content is wrong. And if everybody who had a, a, uh, an unpopular idea, if everybody who had an idea that wanted to be canceled, if anybody, and, and we're talking about mainstream people, right? Because this is not, you know, they want to cancel so many of us. If all of us stood up, it all of us said no, just like J.K. Rollins does. Now, J.K. Rollins, granted, is doing it from a position where she has a lot of wealth. But if all of us did it, if we just said no, if we just, in a sense, ignored them, if we just continued to speak, if we just continued to present, if we just continued to write, and if we supported the people we value, like buying Alex's book, then they fail. They lose. We win, and it's over. That's the reality. That's the reality. Don't cancel the cancel, the cancel cultists. Don't cancel them. No, we don't, you know, there's no reason to. Ignore them. Keep speaking. Keep saying what you believe. Don't cower is the point. The reason cancel culture is successful is because too many people cower to it. That's what makes it possible. That's what gives them energy. That's what gives them prominence is that people cower to it. Don't cower. Speak, 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 speak. Todd, thank you. $100. He says, just pre-ordered the book. Excellent. Uh, through Amazon Smile, providing a donation to ARI. Excellent. You should all be using Amazon Smile for this. So, don't let them get to you. Screw them. I mean, they want to protest, protest. They're going to... They're not, they're not going to silence any of us. They're not going to silence Alex. I know Alex. They're not going to silence uh, the other objective associated with the AI. They're not going to silence me. They're not going to silence us. We will continue to fight. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, 
Thank you. I very much appreciate it.